going on falcon fan this is your boy Ricundo. come back at you with another video so today quick atlanta falcon news so before we get into the news today guys if you had not already go ahead and subscribe to the channel please hit notification bell so you know when i drop another video please hit the like button so i know you guys like to hear that talk about then please share my video throughout the youtube universe so more people come in and hear me talk about these atlanta falcons so as you see in the screen the red helmets are back um exciting you know i love the, the, the red helmets bring back the memories from the old days um um, I think the last time we had these helmets was back in um, 2009, maybe. I thought we brought them back in 2016, too, because I can remember, remember um, we had the throwbacks and Matt Ryan had it on, looking good with that black jersey. So, um, But we're going to bring back the red helmets. Of course, you know, the NFL came out and said we could only wear one helmet, but then they changed it for 2022, so now we'll actually be able to have two different helmets the black and now the red um they're going to actually bring this helmet out on week six against the san francisco 49ers everybody knows the san francisco 49ers used to be in our division along with the saints and the rams at the time and so um we used to play those guys twice a year you know they that's when they was winning everything that's when i really actually became a um a lot of Falcon fan watching the, the against the 49ers. And then I, I won't lie. Once the Falcons got put out of the playoffs, I would kind of root for the 49ers. So, um, because I watched them twice a year play our Atlanta Falcons, we did get them a couple of times. Um, so, um, that was a good robbery against those, um, San Francisco 49ers. But of course they moved to the West. Um, uh, at least we still have the inks, right? Uh, we get to play those guys two times a year that robbery it's pretty good so um so it's going to be interesting to see about these um red helmets i can't wait today actually bring it out in week six i will be at that game i hope we can get that w all right in other news the atlanta falcons signed cameron batson um yes another former tennessee titans which brings the number up from tennessee titans to five of course, we brought in Marcus Mariota, Rashawn Evans, Anthony Fersker, uh, Jeremy McNichols, now Cameron Batson. So, bring up fives. Those relationships between players and coaches, you can see it, especially with a team like the Atlanta Falcons. Um, we, you know, we had um, salary cap issues. Uh, we going to bring players in on one-year deals. Guys that had something to prove still in the league. Guys that could rejuvenate their careers. So, um, those relationships is, is really working out for the Falcons, especially this year. And I feel like they're bringing in some pretty good players that can definitely help the team um, be competitive this year. So Cameron Batson, let's talk about him. Guy who ran actually a 4-3 at his combine, at his pro day. Um, speed. So we brought more speed to the to the receiver room, which is already deep. Um this guy played, been in the league four seasons. Of course, he got hurt last year, ACL. But in those four seasons, 22 catches, 197 yards, two touchdowns. Also played on some special teams, kickoff returns, 16 returns for 311 yards, 19.4 yards in attempt. So um, Avery Williams, lucky might have a little bit more uh, competitions in the return game. Of course, CP's probably still going to be returning some kicks as well. We just have to see, you know, CP's dynamic. But if you just look at the, the addition of Cameron Batson, that actually adds another receiver to the receiver room, which is already crowded, brings the total to 13 receivers. And if you just look at the names on that list, is Greg London, Brian Edwards, Alum De Sakias, Adam Tate, Demir Bird, Geronimo Allison, Cameron Batson, Frank Darby, Cordell Hodge, Austin Trammell, um, Tyshawn James, Stanley Berryhill, and Jared Barnhart. So, like I said, guys, it's a lot of depth in the receiver room. And one thing you can't say about this regime, when they said it's all about competition, they were not lying. I mean, just look at the receiver room, look at the defensive backfield, look at the running backs, um, the linebackers that they have on the, on the team. The only issue is, 
I don't know if they had enough competitions at the, in the trenches like they should. Um, so, um, it's definitely guys there. But um, I could have felt like they could have actually brought in some more offensive guards um, to compete for that that um, left that left guard spot. Um, that I think they might have brought in enough right tackles. We just have to see. But um, they all about competitions, which is good. Um, they they determined to put the best um, to get the best fifty three man roster. Some of these guys definitely is going to be on the practice squad, but you just like the the, the um the mindset of the competition. You also got to like the guys that actually signing these deals to come to the team because they know um they're gonna to have to compete. But I know they were just told they was gonna get the opportunity to compete. That's all you can ask for, especially as an athlete to come in and show what you can do. You got to believe in yourself. I believe you're gonna actually be one of those players that they're gonna actually pick to. To be, you know, to be on this squad, so you got to respect that from all these players to actually, actually signing these deals with the Atlanta Falcons. They know it's opportunity here. Of course, you know Atlanta Falcons in this transition period, so the the spots are open for these guys. Like I said, look at the receiver room. It's only two guys from last year that's actually was on this team. That's Alum De Sakis and Frank Darby, and those guys could be on the outside looking in. So you just have to see. Um, the potential of, of having the, the best receiving core that we can have for these guys to actually come in and compete. So I love the way um, they 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 doing this, you know, bringing in players. I still don't think they're done, which is awesome. Last year, if you look at the roster, all through the year, even when the season started, they were still bringing in players to, that can actually help this team. Like they brought in a Mike Pinnell, Anthony Rush. So you can definitely see – where they're going to actually keep keep continuing to put bring the best uh, best players that they can possibly bring bring in to actually compete to help this team be competitive this year. So guys, let me know what you think about the um the addition of a Cameron Batson, what he potentially could bring to this team. Like I said, with his speed, um, his familiarity with Archer Smith, um, see who who he's going to actually may maybe even push out the um. The door um, right now as a receiver, personally for me, I can only see two guys safe, and that's Drake London and Brian Edwards. Um, the other guys, I don't know. Um, one reason what I was thinking about um, is Carter Patterson, somebody that has receiver background. I know he's slotted as a um, running back right now, but if they decide to make somebody like a Tyler Ajir or Workhorse, um, I can see Carter Patterson moving back over as in the slot as one of our slot receivers who would definitely still be a dynamic playmaker there and so just thinking about somebody like a Carter or Patterson maybe taking one of those receiver spots as well um it's gonna be tough for some of these guys to actually make, make the team but the competition is there we get to see it I think all three preseason games are gonna be important for all these players to actually get out and show what they'll be able to do um you know, it's competition across the board. It's competition at our quarterback spot, um, our offensive line, our defensive line, our defensive backfield, our linebackers. Um, so you, you just love the competition across the board. Our safety is going to be in, in competition. So, um, and I think that competition is actually going to make this team um, be better this year. And we'll just have to see what's the outcome. So, guys, that's all I have about Cameron Batson. Um, let me know what you think about the Red Helmets. Are you excited that they're back? I am excited. Um, one thing that I like about the Red Helmets, because it's, it's, I think it's the way the, way the uniform looks, and it always bring me back to one thing prime time. I always, I always had to say, you look good, you feel good. You feel good, you play good. You play good, you get paid good. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. And this is your boy, Ricondo. Come back at you with another video. Peace.